Hi, today we're showing this new product to arrange the CA15 scope meter. It's a single channel oscilloscope with a built in uh, multimeter. The CA15 comes as standard with main base unit, heavy duty carry case, um, main scope leads, two uh, lithium, lithium ion batteries <coughs> with uh, a mains charger. Two back probes, and a piercing probe. So, as we said, it comes with a, a multimeter, uh, so volts DC, with min-max display, ohms, short circuit test, frequency measurement. Again with the min-max display, <coughs> Juhi cycle, <coughs> active time, ignition dwell amps, and amps you use in conjunction with a, a clip-on amp meter, which uh, is an option. Then in here you have the standard scope. So in here you have general signal. So this is where you can go in, and um, if you want to do the setup yourself, so you set the voltage scale, time base, trigger, etc. by yourself. So you choose either AC or DC. And this is uh, some sensors and components, then some presets they have built, saved on the scope. So for O2 sensor, crankshaft sensor, camshaft sensor, uh, pe inject in uh, petrol injection systems, throttle position, idle air control, temperature sensors, Intake air temperature sensors, ignition trigger signal, airflow meter, both the digital and analog. And for the sensors and com <coughs> components, there can be more um, more presets uh, saved uh, added to this later on as this unit is fully updatable via the internet. And we will also be doing some some uh, explanations and pictures on how to set it up for checking diesel components like common rail injector, rail pressure sensor and a few other bits like that. Here then we have charging system, so uh, check charge and voltage, the ripple test, ignition system, ignition primary, so you choose the type, ignition secondary, for, for the ignition secondary, for checking the coil, uh, ignition coils, the secondary waveform, for coil on plug and other types of coils, there's an option, an optional add-on for this uh, IGM-1, the ignition, ignition tester. We'll be showing this in a later video. In here then you just have set up. This is where we can change various settings. So ignition type setting, <coughs> again you pick the type of ignition system, the trigger types, if you want to set it for rising or falling, uh, you do this in, in this part of it, all other trigger settings are done in, in the oscilloscope screen. Sleep mode, so you can set how long, that if the unit has not been used, how long it will take before you go to sleep to save the battery. Voltage measure type, so you can set it to measure maximum voltage or peak to peak. And this is just about the software version. Like we said, there will be to be update, various updates on this, adding new new presets and new functions. And so now, it, it, back in a second, we'll just connect it up to the car and show it working, measuring some sensors and actuators. Now we have it connected up to the car, and uh, I'm just going to go in and check the injector signal. Uh, connected to a 2004 Astra 1.4 petrol spoke, so we can go sensors and components, injection system, 
and we have different options here with the injection waveform analog. Of injector for that if we are uh, trying to the supply to the injector the other one for injector signal and if you want to see if you zoom in a bit more on the signal go lower on the time base and again the trigger and everything is preset for us but we want to change the trigger if signal wasn't stable, just go in here, move the trigger, and also then we have cursors here, this is the one and two, so you can choose which cursor you want, so move number two, so here then we can see the injector on time, and we want to change the trigger level, go up and down here, or if you want to check position on the screen, just go over here. So now we just go in and check the O2 sensor. Uh, we're already connected here. So again, the both scale and time base already set up for you. If you want to tweak it to look at look at it. Want to see more or less vary the time base. Now we're just going to check the camshaft position sensor signal which can scope uh, sensors and components because we have a preset for this camshaft engine start and running. Um, then we just connect it up to the signal wire. And then you see how the scale, we can adjust the scale manually, but the scale can also automatically adjust. For example, if we set it too low, the scale jumps back up by itself. So, so we'll set it. We'll just go too low again on the scale, but then 3 volts will click back up to uh, 6 volts when the, the signal is reaching 5 volts. And then we can adjust the time base if we want to zoom in or out on the signal. If we want then we can set up the trigger on it as well to get it more stable play on the screen. Uh, another thing we'll check there is the ignition primary signal. Um, for ignition system, ignition primary, ignition primary waveform. Connect it up. Uh, okay, our voltage scale again is preset for us, but our voltage scale is a little bit on the low side, so we can adjust it up there a bit. And um, again, we can change the time base to get a better picture of the signal. And also, the trigger is automatically preset for us, but if we want to tweak the trigger a bit, we just press here. So you see the, the red line and the purple line is for adjusting the trigger. This is for the trigger, trigger level, up and down. And the other one then is for moving the position of the waveform on the screen. So you move it across, so the signal has gone more to the right. 
Again, the trigger is very simple to set up on it. The rising and falling adjustment on the scope is done in, the, in a different area in the setup screen. So now we're connected up to a 2005 feed scoot or diesel. Um, so uh, 1.9 common rail engine. And we're connected to the rail pressure sensor. So we're just going to general signal DC and uh, adjust our scale because it's going to be a lot lower scale than that. Now the key is on so we have about half a volt. Uh, this is normal from the Bosch rail pressure sensors. Um, can you start it there? Stop it again. change the time base a bit so we can see what's happening with the rail pressure when it's cranking or on start up yeah so at zero volts just switch on the key first key on with half a volt okay try start See then it peaked up to, to 1.5 volts and the uh, engine fired up and then we're running at about 1.45 volts a high. So this is good uh, rail pressure sensor signal. Uh, again it's very useful for non-start situations we can have a fair idea of the rail pressure on cranking and start up. Now we're checking the common rail, uh, signal to the common rail injector, it's a Bosch type injector. We're using an amp stamp, which is set up, uh, it's, it's the setting on the amp stamp, converting from four stamps. And here you can see our, our injector signal, so you have the pre and main injection. Again, useful for a non star situation, you can quickly check see if you're getting a signal to the injector. It's plain and bold, but it's a conversion, you'll have to just do the conversion with the amp stamp to work out the amp amount. Uh, so that's about it on the on the CF15 scope meter for now. As you can see, you can test many different sensors and components very quickly and easily with this. Uh, keep an eye on our YouTube channel for other videos about this.